Hey everyone, welcome back to our Monday night, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time Twitch stream. I'm Mandy, also known as the Board Gaming Pinup Girl. And I'm Mike, known as Pollum. And today we have a nice treat for you. We are taking a look at... Wizards of the Wild. <laughs> so much fun. And magical. Yes. So I'm a little excited here. Yes. So before we get into all that stuff first, just do a quick, you know, social media plug. So if you're looking for me, you can find me on the To Die For Games YouTube channel. I'm also on the To Die For Games Facebook channel. I'm on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. I probably missed one as Board Gaming Pinup Girl, but on Twitter, the Board Gamer uh, Pinup Girl. But you can also find me here on the Twitch channel. And I am also a Dice Tower contributor. <laughs> I'm on uh, Instagram as Pollum, P-A-W-L-O-M, and Twitter as Pollum21, and here on Monday nights at 8 o'clock. I know, so much goodness here. So <laughs> if you have questions or comments, please throw them in the chat. We also have Halden, who joined us last week for Millennium Blades. He usually trolls the chats and, you know, <laughs> finds out what Michael is drinking, which we will share later. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So today, Wizards of the Wild. Uh, basically what has happened is humans have disappeared and the animals have gained magical powers and are then competing against each other. So we are going to be playing one of these animals. I am playing Mephisto the Possum. And I am playing Luna the Hare. Very Harry Potter-esque. So in the game you do have a whole bunch of different animals that you can choose from. And each of them have two different unique powers. You choose which side you want to play as for the different unique powers. And what will be happening in the game is it's, uh, we've got six custom dice here with all kinds of funky sides to them. I don't know if I, well, I don't have that side Not up yet, yet but I'll yet. show that after. <laughs> um, <clears throat> where you're collecting, uh, you're collecting tomes, you're collecting arcane, you're collecting gems, and you're collecting mana that you'll be using to buy various spells or challenge cards over the course of seven rounds. Each round is counted by the acolyte cards. So there are seven cards that are uh, randomly chosen from a deck of acolyte cards. These represent the, the familiars from the humans that were around, from the magicians that were around before. And each of them has a different requirement uh, for bribing them to get points and penalties for those that earn too many skulls on each round. So I'm going to jump in. So hello, Bilsa. Thanks for hello. joining us. Thank you I joining. know you're becoming a regular. This is yep. exciting. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so that's, that's pretty much the gist. Uh, and with this, the, this is the, the fancy uh, Kickstarter exclusive edition that also came with the, uh, the handmade wand. And this is the first player marker, which is you know, kind of cool. <laughs> it's super fun. fun. <laughs> and makes a great pointer when you're, when you're trying to teach people the games. <laughs> so, should we get into it? Yeah. We'll I think I covered the gist, but we'll cover everything as, yeah, as we're going as along. as we go. Yeah. All right. <laughs> fancy wand. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> Only first player gets it. Yes. All right. So the way that we start, uh, you do have on the player mat, it indicates the resources that you get to begin with. So we get to start with two arcane, two tome, three gems, four mana. And we'll be trying to collect more as we play. So to start, we see what the starting acolyte is. And when they ran the original Kickstarter for this game, uh, they had a funding level that allowed you to have your own pet in the game. So all of the Acolyte cards are cards that are designed based on people's actual pets. So this is Acolyte Chubbers. Do you want to <coughs> show that? Yeah, we're going to, we set all something right. up here. We're going to try let's this see out. see if we can do this. So that is whoop, Acolyte Chubbers. <laughs> That's <laughs> cute. And I'll read out what Chubbers provide. So first of all, when you start, the card will indicate what the mana penalty is for all players. So you do that right away, minus two mana for everybody. Oh wow, right off the bat. Right off the bat. And mana, if I recall, is this one. Yep, those potions. One, two. Yep. I know, so just so you guys know, I'm probably gonna call things by the wrong name. I've tried to memorize them, <laughs> but there are too many other games that call them something else. I yep. tried my best. All right, and then along with that, <laughs> it will show how much it costs. As a matter of fact, I'll show that again. Look. Oh man, I could have had a poodle card. <laughs> you definitely could have, <laughs> yes. Awesome. So on the bottom of the card, you've got the mana penalty on, oh my god, <laughs> on this side I should have practiced this a bit more. And then it shows you how much it costs to bribe this acolyte. In this case, uh, <laughs> it could be five gems to get eight points. Yeah, that has to be Craig now, for sure. 
what? I could have had Charles Bronson immortalized. <laughs> yes. Yes, you could have. Absolutely. <laughs> And then the final thing that's on this card in the red ribbon is the penalty for whoever takes the most skulls. So there are different ways to gain skulls. Uh, you would gain a skull to gain something else that is of benefit. But if you gain too many skulls, you're going to get penalized at the end of the round. So we've shown who the Acolyte is. And yep. I will start by rolling my dice with my other pen. <laughs> That is funky. That is so weird. We like, actually have a die standing on oh, end there. Well, not anymore. All right. <laughs> so you get to re-roll. Sweet close-up cam. Okay, wait. I still have the dice now. Trying. Okay. Oh, uh, we have to do it after. Yeah, I'll show. Okay. I'll, I'll show one. Okay. Actually, I'll show this one because I'll have to re-roll it. Okay. So the first thing when you roll is that you have to take any skulls that were rolled. Uh, there are six, uh, they're all six sided dice, and there are six different sides to it. Uh, no sides are duplicated. So each die does have one skull. And I have to take one skull because I did roll one there. And then I'll show this. <laughs> so we've got, yeah. we've got skulls. We've got uh, what is almost a wild. You can use that as tome or arcane. That's the gem. And that is strictly arcane. Then you've got tome on that side, and then that's your mana where you get two mana for it. That was nicely done, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so you get to, you roll all the dice, and then you'll get two more re-rolls after that, uh, saving whichever ones you want to save. So the first thing is, what am I going to want to actually buy? When you start, there are two spells and two challenge cards. The challenge cards are bought using arcane, the spells are bought using uh, Tome. So having said that, let's see here. I don't want to re-roll anything. Uh, I want to see what I'm doing first so uh, that I know what it is yeah, I want to go for, enough. right? In this case, I can use those two wilds as Tome or Arcane. So maybe what I'll do is I'll keep those three as Arcane, and I'm going to re-roll the rest see what I can get out of that. This is a game you still have to take the skull, but then you can reword it. Oh, look at that, to get another so skull. <laughs> another skull, so I do have to take that penalty. But I also got two more wilds out of that. That's a total of five. That's, so pretty, that's pretty sweet. I could maybe even buy a couple cards this round. Well, you don't really need... Oh, my goodness. I we'll just see. saw what that was worth. And then I'm going to reroll that last one one more time, and yeah, I got a gem out of nothing it. Nothing to cry about. So in terms of storing any of these resources, the gems and the mana can always be stored. That's no problem. So I will store the gem. The tome and arcane cannot be stored if you purchase any cards. You have to choose either or. So there's sort of be an ebb and flow to this where one round you might be buying one or two cards and then after you know one or two rounds maybe you'll have to actually store instead of purchase. So I've got I've got a lot of flexibility here because I've got four wilds and one arcane. Does your power let you do anything? My power, actually, let's say what our both of our powers mm -hmm. do. So mine, I can spend one of the mana to gain a skull and a uh, an arcane. So I would get an arcane, but I have to take a skull to do it. Mine is you may re-roll dice one extra time. Whenever you take the Acolyte's skull penalty, gain mana. Nice. That's pretty cool. So normally you can, un you can roll three times. So your, your initial roll plus two more, Mandy's going to get one extra roll on top of that. Woohoo, because I'll need it. <laughs> so let's see here. I think I'm going to go for the Leprechaun. Can I do that? Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, let's see here. Let's see how this works out. I'm going to get the Leprechaun, which is a spell. And in the top left corner, it shows you how much it's going to cost. So for spells, again, it uses the tomes. So for five, and how will I do this? Because <laughs> I want to spend that for four. So if I do that for four. Right. Okay. So I'm spending everything here. So sound yep. is a bit quiet. It is a bit quiet. I just quiet. double checked. So okay. We can just, we're going to crank it up a little bit. All right. Give me one second here. Sound is quiet. Let's try that. Okay. Okay. Let's see if that's better. Test that. See okay. how that sounds. 
Yeah, we'll go with that, and if it's still too quiet, let us know, and we'll turn it up. So, oh, here, Tilt says, I always take the roll extra power in any game. Rolling dice is not a skill I have. Ha! Hence <laughs> the reason I have this one. <laughs> yeah, it's nice to have that fail safe of getting to roll again, for exactly. sure. Exactly. The only downside in this game you have to be careful of is the fact that the more you roll, the greater chance you're going to be rolling skulls, which bumps that up, and then you'll take the penalty at the end of the round. So there is sort of a, there is a, a gamble there when you, when you keep re-rolling. So let's see here. If I'm going to spend five for that, I'm going to spend... Oh, yep. flying purple meeple eater. Nice haircut at Hollow. <laughs> see? Everyone's Thank you. Noticing, everyone's noticing your haircut. <laughs> All right. So we've got three, <laughs> three tome here plus two will be five to purchase the leprechaun. Okay. So those are spent. And then I will buy... You don't want that one. I'm going to get this one. The small, the small earthquake, which has like a baby panda on it. How cute is that? <laughs> and that'll cost me four uh, arcane, so two from the dice mm -hmm. and two from here. So I have spent all of my resources on the left side. Yeah, which but you got two sweet cards out happens, of the deal. But I did get two sweet cards. <laughs> now, you can use these cards immediately as well. Um, the challenge card must be used immediately. Well, challenge cards are one-time use, and in this case, it's gain two gems, which I will do. And then it gets flipped over, but they do have point values on them at the end of the game. Those will get added up. So challenge cards tend to be not so strong for their one-time use, but worth more points. Whereas the spells you can use every round, once per round, uh, but will be worth fewer points because you are getting more of a, a benefit out of their use. So that was that. Then I will also... Do I want to do that? <laughs> Why not? I'll trigger that as well. So I'm going to spend one mana yeah. using this spell to gain two gems and one skull. Uh. So there is a downside to it, but I got two gems out of it. So that was used. Now I can also bribe the Acolyte, and you can do that only once per round. In this case, this Acolyte wants five gems. One, two, three, four, five. <gasps> but I get eight points for it. I will take that. Oh, boy. And that is me. And my work cut out for me this round. <laughs> so when you go to start your turn, the first thing you can do is refill up to four in in the display from whichever decks you want. So if you have an ability, for example, that benefits from purchasing spells, you might want to lean towards refilling with spells. Um, but you can choose from whichever decks you want. If the display is already full when your turn starts, then you have the option of discarding one card and bringing in another. So you'll always get to bring in at least one fresh card. So you get to choose where you're refilling from first. Yeah, so let's do from here, see what that brings us. I like where that's going, I like where that's going, and mm. we'll do one of these. All right. All right, oh man, I slightly regret doing that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now I get to roll if I'm not mistaken. You do. All right, here we go. Wish me luck, everyone. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, there's two That's skulls aggressive. right away. <laughs> <laughs> so those are not so hot. One, two. Hmm. All right, that's later. And what else do I have here? I have a gem and I have some mana. Wow, that is poor. Hmm. Very, very poor. Okay, so I just need a minute to see what I'd like to do. Mm -hmm. Now, mana is not a bad thing to have. This is, however, pretty good, but I don't have anything to discard, so that would not be worth it. So in that case, so what if you're not able to complete the action? Hmm. Yeah, so if I, can I still take that card? Because, I mean, that's seven victory points. I don't see why not. So, not to say that, well, I could afford it, but. Okay, I'm actually going to keep those, and I have to reroll these two. Well, I'm going to reroll these two. <sighs> okay, wish me luck. Okay. That's pretty nice. Okay, so let's start with this, which is the four mana. One, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. And then I do get a gem, which is not ideal. I would have liked another. And then I do have three arcane, or I could do the two tomes but I just feel like I really want this card are they gonna do anything for me now no so do we want to do verification or do you want to just go with it um, 
The reason I'm going to say that you don't have to is because it does not say must. Normally games will say must if you have to that do something. True. Um, but I can't think of a situation where you would benefit from discarding a card. Well, unless it's one you had that wasn't really doing much for you. You wouldn't have purchased it to begin yeah, with. And it true. would still be worth points, right? So right. I'll see if they The reason why I say that, that is because the point value on it is, it is quite, quite high. high. So that to me So that may be an additional cost is you you have, have to, to discard, discard a card. A card. Yeah. So you know what? We can play it like that, that yeah. you would have to. I would assume I so for a seven-pointer. Yeah. Yeah. So not a problem. Yeah. Otherwise, that would be an easy, a very easy oh, seven-pointer. Oh, absolutely. It's like, yeah. okay, take seven points and you're not losing anything out of it. So Unless. Hmm. Unless. You can discard any card. This is my first time seeing this card. Uh, okay. Because it just says discard a card. Yeah. Oh, you mean like discarding a card from here? Or from an opponent. That's interesting. But it doesn't say opponent. Right. So no, so I the would wording on that could be a little better. But I think we'll just play it as in I would have to discard yeah. a card. Because I'm taking the card and it's telling me to do it, I would yep. assume. So yep. yeah, we'll go with that. Yep. What drink is sponsoring tonight's game? <laughs> I knew someone was going to ask. Uh, tonight's game is brought to you by. Uh, <laughs> this is uh, Great Lakes Brewery, Hanlon's Point, Coconut Coffee Porter which is quite delicious. It's a subtle coconut, uh, subtle coffee, but combined, it's two great tastes that taste great together. <laughs> well, this is not going well for me. But I think what I will do is... Yeah, the more I think about it, that is a cost to uh, play No, I agree 100% with you. For seven points. So I can't do that. Okay, so first I'm going to spend... Four of uh, four of those. Okay. Okay, of the tome to get this card here, the okay. shadow card. Yep. Which allows me to have two skulls. All other players lose mana, and I gain a victory point. Okay. Because Lord knows it looks like I'm making a lot of skulls here. Okay. And then I still have. Would that be three? Yep. Yeah. So I have three of the arcane that I could spend, and I don't think I can afford anything. No. So, that's all there is. And because she did already purchase this round that extra arcane would get wasted. She's not allowed to store it. Correct. Uh, so you can trigger this now. Any cards that you purchase are available Perfect. for use right away. And oh. the the trigger here is if you have two skulls, Yep. which you do. I certainly do. <laughs> then all other players lose a mana, yeah, and, and I, I only have one. Get a point. That's crap. And then, yes, you get one. Woohoo! Wow. <laughs> I was hoping you were going to get more skulls. So we're at the end of the round. Then um, we have to see... Yes, yeah, I have to so do... So we have to see who... Do you have enough? One, two, three, four. Not quite. Four. You're one short. <laughs> yeah. So can't bribe the acolyte uh, for the points there. I tried. But, but then we see. Hold on here. Mm -hmm. No, that's the skull penalty, which I will take in a moment. Nope. Oh, I'm no, at three. I won't. You're I'm at three. three. So we have to look at what the penalty is for whoever gained the most skulls this round. And that's going to be me. I have three. Mandy's got two. And it's going to be minus two points. So I have to take a two-point That hit. is unfortunate. But I that's going to change that. every round depending on the acolyte. Hmm. So then the first player one will move over to you. I can't say it because I feel like it's copyrighted, but <laughs> anybody I, who watches I, that will know what I'm talking about. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so we look at the next Acolyte. Right. And in this case, we have Acolyte Lady. And why not? Yeah, let's use why the not? close up cam. Let's see people's pets. There's Acolyte <laughs> Lady. That's so cute. Lady. So in this case, we take <laughs> no mana penalty, which actually works out for me because I have no mana. If I'm not able to pay whatever the penalty is, then I take a skull for every mana that I'm not able to pay. Speaking of which, our skulls oh, reset to zero. That's right, reset. So for Acolyte Lady, you can spend three gems to gain five points, and the skull penalty at the end of this round is going to be two points again. Okay. You're starting, so you get to refill, refill the right. board. Right. Well, let's see. You know what? Let's go for it. Let's do a tome card. Oh, yep. Wow. Shadows are on my side here. Mm -hmm. You may change the Acolyte's most skull penalty to gain one victory point per shadow spell of all players combined. Well, that would just be me currently. Mm -hmm. But it's kind of cool. It is. Interesting. And can also be a gamble. That's true. So you know what? Let's just roll the dice and see what luck or not luck they bring me. Mm -hmm. Well. <laughs> yeah. That's some skulls. Two skulls right off the bat. Wow. All right. I'm just giving her. And we got some 
mana, and we have some, oh my gosh, what a horrific roll that was. Hmm, I don't have any, so that would be a good option. Okay, okay, so you know what, let's do that. I'm gonna re-roll all three of these. Okay. Okay, so now I have a gem. Mm -hmm. That really does nothing for me. Do I get another reroll? I thought it You was get two more. Yes, that's right. You get I one my because you can do two rerolls, but with your ability, you get an extra one on top uh, of that. Why do I feel like if I get greedy that I might get a skull? You know what? Let's just do it. What? <laughs> I don't really need it, but that's okay. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. Tome and one gem. So we'll take the gem. That's mm -hmm. pretty straightforward. That doesn't really leave me with a heck of a lot. So I guess I will just take this card. Okay. The shadow card. So I know you were saying this can happen right away. Uh, you need to trigger it on your turn. Right. So any spells you need to trigger on your turn, and you can do once per turn, unless it has the whenever keyword. And that you could then do whenever the trigger happens, whatever the trigger may be. <laughs> Get greedy. I'm always greedy. <laughs> so oh. first off, don't forget yes. that spell. So this is have two skulls, all other players lose mana, and you gain one victory point. Yep. So you do have two skulls. Right. I lose a mana, which I can't. Right. So I would have to take a skull. Now, right. do you want to trigger that? Well, yeah, absolutely. So I'll okay. get a point while I'm at it. Yep. It's a slow crawl, but we're getting there. Mm -hmm. And then the next one is you may change the Acolyte's most skull penalty to gain one victory point per shadow spell of all players combined. So the way that works is normally whoever has the most skulls takes the penalty of that given Acolyte. With that card, Mandy can actually flip it around to whoever has the most skulls is actually going to get points. But she has to trigger that on her turn. So if she's going first, she doesn't necessarily know for sure that she's going to have the most skulls to get the points. And it would trigger for me as well if she's triggering that. Which is why I asked you, are you sure you want to trigger yeah. the giving me a skull? Because right. if you don't, you've got two skulls, I've got none. So Maybe you'll have more than me. So. I am not going to trigger this because okay. I am not a gambling person. <laughs> now that card is great when you're going last because sure. you know if you have the most skulls or not. That's right. If you do, then you trigger it and get points instead. Oh, okay. And then there's this, this is correct. I'm really looking forward to playing this. Just backed the expansion on Kickstarter, which includes an option for adding the base game. I know mm. I was looking at that too, but I think the shipping is crazy, you were saying. Yeah, the shipping's, the shipping's a little expensive, but they had no other choice. <laughs> Actually, might as well mention that now. They do have a Kickstarter running right now for the expansion to the game. Uh, originally, they did have the add-on for the base game, but shipping to the States only, which if anybody's in the States, that's great. We're not, we're in Canada. so. Getting the game here was not possible, but enough people had asked, you know, whatever the cost is, we're willing to pay it to get the game here. So they were able to open up an international shipping option, and I'm pretty sure the shipping's 25 US on that, which is a little on the steep side, yeah. but they've got no other way around it. They they did the best they could to try and get that right. to the international uh, international backers as well. So, so the option is there now. <laughs> which, yeah, so I'll look into it, but I hope they bring the shipping down. Uh, Rapunzel, mm -hmm. that card is deadly in Pa's hands. Good job <laughs> taking it away from him. You read my mind. That is exactly, I thought I'm like, I'm taking that card. It yep. killed me last time. Yeah, I was hoping she wasn't going to roll enough <laughs> to actually get it. So now I have to fight against but it. But I did. Yep. <laughs> okay. All right, so that's you? Yep. Okay, so I get to refill first. Yes. Oh, I almost forgot. I have to do this. Uh, you don't have to. You can choose to, though, yes. Oh, no, I need points. I, yep. Of course I'm doing that. <laughs> Bri bribing the Acolyte is what she's talking about. <laughs> One, two, three. So I have a sufficiently bribed the Acolyte. Yep. I will gain five points. Yeah, so I'm will. going from there to 17. It's meager. Very good. And something to note, everyone who's watching, I'm putting the uh, yellow cubes, this is another player color, on the cards that I've used. This helps me to keep track versus turning the card. Yeah, instead of exhausting. Yeah. So for me, I just prefer the token as a, a visual. All right. So I get to refill first, and I'm going to refill with a challenge card. Bees. Yes. Stinging rain. <laughs> that sounds fun. It sure does. And then I will roll. All the skulls. Uh, that's One fun. skull. Okay, glad I didn't take Which that gamble. Which puts me at two, because the card that you played before. Yep. Did give me one, so I couldn't pay the mana cost. So let's see here. Um, what am I going for? This is kind of 
going to be a rebuilding round, I think. Mm -hmm. I have no tome, no arcane. Nothing wrong. I'll keep those two wilds. And I think I'm going to reroll the rest for now to see wow. where I can go from there. That's okay. Well, there's two more skulls. <laughs> I'm definitely taking the penalty that. <laughs> really that. glad I did not take that card or use this card. I think what I'll do is I'll keep the gem and the mana because I do have absolutely no mana right now. Right. And reroll the skulls. I wonder how that happened. <laughs> <laughs> One of each. Hmm. So I have either three tome or three arcane, which only leaves me with one card to purchase. And I don't really want that card. So what I'm gonna do, I will take the gem mm -hmm. like that. I will take the mana like that. I'll take the tome, I'll take the arcane, and then I can choose what I want to store with these two. Mm -hmm. And I think just to keep it even, I'm going to go one of each. Okay. Build it right up. Then I can also do this if I want, which I will. It's going to be taking another skull. But at this point, I have the most skulls. Might as well. I've got nothing to lose. So for that, I spend one mana. I get two gems and one skull. And then I'm going to bribe the Acolyte. So costing three gems mm -hmm. gets me five points. Nice. So in essence, this game is, is an engine builder. A lot of the cards will work well together. It's just a matter of finding those combinations that will feed each other. Uh, general overview of what each die roll does, now that you see how the game's working. Tome is going to be used to purchase spells. Arcane is going to be used to purchase the challenges. Gems are gonna be used to get points, either via the Acolyte bribing, or some cards will also give you a chance to spend gems for points and mana is going to be used for powering the cards that you purchased and paying the uh, paying the mana penalty at the start of each round. Mm -hmm. Okay, done? Yep. I get the first player wand. Oh, I have to relinquish the wand? Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> I can then, my option would be to refill the, uh, the tableau, but because it is full, I get to discard one if I want and refill it with something else. So I will discard that. Good choice. And bring in another challenge. Ooh. Wow. That's not something I need, but you might. I definitely need that. OK, so first off, let's see what the next Acolyte is. We've got Acolyte Jasmine. And let's show. <laughs> There's Jasmine. Jasmine will first off have a three mana penalty. Oh boy. Three mana penalty right off the bat? Yeah, so first reset to oh, your yep, uh, skulls. Yep. One, two, three. And I've only got one mana, which means I take one mana off and then I take a two skull penalty for not being able to pay that. And then I'm going to roll. All right. Not bad. One skull. Colin spends way too much time with his wand. That's uh, <laughs> how those other people. Of course it is. <laughs> See, I didn't even have to give the name. You no, you, you did not. <laughs> you love this wand and you know it. All right. <clears throat> Let me see here. I'm going to keep that. Feel some buying is happening here. And Ooh. that's it. I'm gonna re-roll everything else. Wow. Yeah. I'm looking for our cane here. And more skulls, oh, apparently. One more skull. <laughs> Not we'll so keep bad. The arcane. <laughs> and I'm gonna re-roll everything else. I'm just looking for our cane. Wow, that's a lot of mana. <laughs> okay. So do I you really get one more. need that card anymore? Not at the moment, no. But let's see. So those I will store right away. That's okay. six mana. Wow, Two, right off the bat. Six. And three, four, five. I have five arcane to spend. How many challenges can I get for this oh, much money? I forgot. Well, Yeah. 
Yeah, there's no point to that card anymore. So this challenge card is immediately gain five mana and a gem, which I had no mana. That was great. But now that I have six mana, there's no point because you can only store up to whatever the mat will hold. In this case, it's eight mana. I'd be wasting a whole bunch of mana if I took that. So there's no point to that one. I think what I'm going to do... I'm going to get the Cyclonic Lightning. So that will cost me these three arcane plus one more that I have stored. Gets me that. And it's a challenge card, so I use it immediately by gaining two mana. But more importantly, it'll be worth four points at the end of the game as well. So that gets flipped over. Mm -hmm. But I'm not done yet. There's more. I will spend one mana to gain... No, I won't. <laughs> no, I won't. I won't do that one. I will do this one. So spend one mana to gain two gems and a skull. I think I'm getting the most skulls this round anyway. So Yep, so we know what's happening on that Having the end. most <laughs> is the most. It's, it's irrelevant. So I might as well get the gems because the gems can be used for points. Oh, that's a lot of points. So spending... It's not a great return for the amount of gems. That it's is a lot of five gems. gems. For six points, yeah. It's high. But, but I'm going to do it. it. Yeah, I'm going to... Oh, wait. Yes, I do. I have five. <laughs> so I'll spend all five to get six points. Okay. I need to step it up here. <laughs> and that was using that. And I am done. All right. Let's uh, get this show on the road. You can refill first. Yeah, that would be good, wouldn't it? <laughs> Okay, let's go with this one. Although this hasn't brought me much luck. Ooh, spend mana, lose a skull, and gain. Oh, gain, gain a gem. gem. That's all right. And that's losing the skull. So it actually takes away some of the, the penalty <laughs> potential. <laughs> oh, <laughs> everything is coming up millhouse for me. That's a lot of gems. You darn tootin'. Woohoo! Now that kind of defeats the purpose of what I needed to do. Ooh. Okay, I gotta think about this here now. Ew. <sighs> it hurts my soul so bad. Are you gonna throw away gems? I do have to throw away. Oh out. boy. But. Oh, I don't wanna do this. <laughs> oh no. Well, wait now. While well, she's thinking, I will say something that I oh. haven't mentioned yet is setup of the game. The way that works, the backs of both the challenge and spell cards have either one, uh, one tome or two tomes and one arcane or two arcane uh, for the higher level cards. The way the game is set up is you have the entire deck of the level two of each at the bottom and then a certain number of cards from the first level that get shuffled and put on top. In the case of two players, there'll be six cards of the level one. So pretty soon we're gonna start seeing the level two cards coming out. If you have more players, then you start with a, a larger stack of the level one cards on top. So I'm just gonna make this super easy. I'm just gonna take this card here. Okay. And uh, so I have two of the arcane here and yep. I have another two here. Okay. So I'm going to take this, immediately discard a card. I actually really didn't want this card. You I just didn't, didn't want me to have, have it. it. <laughs> yep. Okay. All right. So that's gone. So that's gone and this is an end game. So that's the way it's going to be, is it? <laughs> All right. Well, you know. Yep. And Doesn't uh, score right now, but that's going to be worth seven points at the end of the game. Darn right. Very nice. And uh, I will bribe the acolyte. Yeah, you will. Five so or six. five gems All to right. get six points. One, two, three, four, five. I'm a little poor, but I do get six big ones. Yep. It's 23. I think that is it because and I cannot do And you didn't get this. any skulls, yeah. No, which I was, that's incredible actually. It is. Okay, so then we look at the, the skull penalty, which is no doubt me. <laughs> so I'm taking a three point penalty. Aww. And we're within one. That sounded so sincere. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually going to end it with Muffin. And yeah, I okay. Said, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You're the first player. Thank you. So we get rid I of that. I have the urge every time I have this wand to just... It is fun. And a card will appear. Okay. So we're looking at the new Acolyte. This is Acolyte Skittles. <laughs> I love the name. Skittles. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's pretty funny. So Acolyte Skittles. Right away, we take a two mana penalty. Oh, wow. Wow, that was cutting it close. And reset skulls, yep, which is irrelevant to you because you're at zero. <laughs> this one will be bribed with five gems to get seven points. And the most skulls takes a one point penalty. 
So not as aggressive of a penalty there. I need some gems. Is the potential for points for Let sure. Let us do this first. Mm -hmm. hmm. I think I'm going to do this. Lots of challenge cards happening here. Immediately mm -hmm. all other players lose a gem. Ouch. That's not very nice. All right. And that is breathing, breathing. tax. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> <coughs> well, that didn't go as planned, but it might benefit later. So we've got those. We're just going to have to re-roll. One, two. So I hit two skulls, mm -hmm. but I actually think this round... Okay, I'm going to do that. I'm going to re-roll these two. Mm -hmm. That's another skull. <sighs> Unbelievable. <laughs> oh, that's going to be re-rolled because that's going to go there. So you still have two more rolls, and you yeah. have to take the skull for that. That's correct. Wow. Wow. I'm on a roll, apparently. Mm -hmm. Literally. Woo! Diamonds. I will take that. Now, okay. that's done. I will take two mana. One, two. Uh, that's unfortunate that that didn't go in a better direction, but that's how it is. And I'm going to take... I guess I can do two of each. I'll take... Yeah, we'll do that. So I'll take two arcane mm -hmm. and two tome. Okay. And that's for that. Um, yeah. <laughs> so I could technically do this card. Yep. Because I have two skulls. All other players lose mana and I gain a victory point. Okay. Which brings me to 24. We are tied. All tied up. All right. There you are, so sir. So first thing is I can discard one from the display because it is full. Mm-hmm. Um, do I wish to? <laughs> I'm going to get rid of this one and bring in another challenge. So now mm -hmm. we're looking at the level two challenge. So we have here, volume is much better this week, though our TV is cranked. So we can definitely turn it up. We just were worried about a bit of echo, but... Um, you want me to turn it up more? Yeah, maybe we'll just turn it up a little bit more. Yeah. So we're still playing with audio, trying we're to figure it out with the mic, so please let us know. But thank you for letting us know that. So we will turn it up a little bit we're more. We're basically left to going to 100 here. That was 90. Let's see. So we're gonna... Hopefully that doesn't blow your speakers now, but <laughs> it was just a, a minor, yes, minor uh, adjustment. Adjustment there. So we'll see how it goes, and each week we'll kind of play around with it. But uh, yes, thank you for letting us know. We really appreciate yep. it. As long as we don't have echo. Yeah, that's if a nobody cool. has echo. We're happy with that. Okay, <laughs> here we go. One skull. I'm okay with that. Yes. Now, what am I looking to do here? I would like to get that. That's going to cost me. Five. I, all right, I'm going to keep that. That. Oh, I got three wilds out of that. I'll take that. Wow, that's pretty good. And I'm not going to get to five gems, so that's not yeah. as urgent. So I'm going to re-roll these three. That's crazy. We had none of us have gems. Well. well. There's another skull. What are you at? Three? That's three. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's bad. I know. Well, what I'm worried about is right now I'm I'm at two. Right. So this is this is the gamble, right? It's it's nice to have many rerolls, <laughs> but the more you reroll, the more skulls you could get. I don't want to go above you, although it is only a one point penalty. Hmm. Yeah, that's why. I mean, this would be the time to roll your hearts out because mm -hmm. it's only a one penalty. Yep. Try and convince me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see here. I will keep the gems. One, two, three. And just re-roll this. I'm not going to get a skull again, am I? Do it. No, roll. <laughs> See, that was wise. Uh, I don't know if that's trying to help or trying to hurt, but <laughs> it worked in the end. Okay, so let's see here. I've got two gems. And I've got four wild. So I will use those four as tome, taking one more for a fifth. To get this spell, mm -hmm. which is strong incense. It's an enchantment. I can spend a mana to lose a skull and gain a gem. Very nice. Oh, this is actually great for me. So I will 
Take that now. I will spend a mana here mm -hmm. to get spending a mana to get two gems what? and a skull. No, which no, ties no. us. Oh. But then I will spend another mana to lose a skull. Right? To lose a skull yes. and gain another gem. Yeah, you better not get that. Nah, you're not even close. And then I'm going to spend five. I'm totally there oh. to gain seven points. But I do get this little thing on my power. Whenever you take the accolades, oh, never mind. I just gain. You gain. You gain mana. Womp yeah. womp. Uh, but I think it is me. Isn't we'll we'll it? we'll get there. All yeah. right. Uh, so that's both of those. I could do that, but don't need to. So that's me. So then we look at the penalty for the round, and you've got three skulls. I've got two. Yep. So you will be taking the penalty. So a one point hit. <sighs> Yep. But your ability says that whenever you take the penalty... Oh, I just get that. Yeah, she gets to gain mana. Meh, that's okay. It's something. And I am first player. Oh, mm -hmm. oh thank you. <laughs> this goes to Use zero. That comes off. And we look at the next Acolyte. The next up we have Acolytes Zoe and Xavier. <laughs> yeah. Well, he he. Yeah. They look like whippets. I think they are, yeah. Very cute. All right, so first off, a one, man, one mana penalty. Well, that's unfortunate. I just got that. <laughs> and these ones are actually very more, f they're much more favorable for bribing. Four gems will get you eight points. Wow, okay, so we need to up the gem However, counts. also oh. bigger on the penalty. Whoever has the most Woo! skulls, minus four points. Okay, so no rolling. These are very <laughs> unforgiving acolytes here. <laughs> okay, I get to refill. I'm going to choose a challenge. Hmm. Well, that's pretty good. And look at that. It's just, well, it's based on how many you have. Let's see what we've got here. This is Meeting of the League of Villainy. <laughs> There's a killer whale and an orca of some sort. And a penguin. All right. That's the League of Villainy. We've okay. got, uh, at the end of the game, gain one point for each mana you have. Not bad if you can top that up quickly towards the end of the game. See, and then I'm always worried that it won't, like, I won't get that amount that I need. One skull. He's on his way. Shh, shh, shh. <laughs> uh, let's see here. What else do I want? What, what am I looking to do? What am I looking to do? I'm looking to not get the most skulls. I would love to get four gems. That would be wonderful. And I can get three this way. So I'm taking that. I need cards. Jeez. Mm. So that's not bad too. Mm. Okay. Uh, I should have done that very differently. And I'll take that. And I will re-roll everything else. <laughs> and hopefully not get any skulls. Skulls, skulls. Oh my no goodness. No skulls. Not a single that skull. That is sweet. Unbelievable. I will take those. That makes me angry. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> going to readjust my microphone. I need perfect roll here, but I'm going to try for it. How am I going to try for it? Uh, now that I've said that, I know. Do it. Peanut do it. gallery will say, yeah, do it. <laughs> I know, mm. waiting for someone to type, do yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. No. Oh, boy. One, two, three, four. I'm waiting for Tulsa to write, do it. <laughs> No, no, no. I'm going to stop there. Not going to happen? Not going to stop That's there. That's unfortunate. I'll keep the gem because that is a very beneficial uh, benefit there with the, the Acolyte bribing. So, I'll take the two gems first. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. You don't have enough, do you? I needed some mana. <laughs> oh, no. This I'll get enough for that. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. But I needed I needed one additional mana to <laughs> to get fix what I'm about to do. Oh, <laughs> unless hmm. okay, I'll purchase the card next. Okay. So for three arcane plus one is four. I'll take the breathing tax. You did not just take that card. I totally just took that card. Immediately, all other players lose a gem. Unbelievable! Ah. 
That leaves me with one lore, which will not do me any good. So oh. I'll just throw that back at Tome. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. I thought one I of us was, was going to do it. I thought I was going to say was lore. I thought do I had to call it because I thought it was going to be me. <laughs> and then I'm going to spend one mana to gain two gems, one skull, and then I'm going to spend those four gems to gain eight points oh, by bribing the unbelievable. acolyte. Unbelievable. And then he made me lose a gem in the process. Totally did. Thanks for well, that. And I left myself mana short on mana here, which would have actually brought me back down on the uh, the skulls. Oh so I'm taking God. a bit of a chance. So I don't want to have the most, but <sighs> let's see what happens. All right. So refill first. Yes. Well, I feel like we haven't been doing much here, so let's give that a go. Focus steady. Spend two gems and gain four victory points. Yeah. That would be great, actually. It's not bad. It's actually not bad. The ratio is nice for, yeah. for what that does. Yeah. We'll see what happens. <sighs> Two skulls. Like, yes. right off the bat. Seriously? Unbelievable. That's okay. I have but something that But you get to re-roll three more times, so keep on going. Great. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> thanks for that. <laughs> hmm. 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 Interesting, interesting, interesting. Hmm, okay. So keeping two wilds, an arcane. I don't know if I want to keep this or not. I should probably, to be honest. <sighs> okay. Wow, that that's, is uh, a lot of mana. But that's not what I need. <laughs> hmm. Oh, this is hard decision. Do I keep that? Okay, I might regret this. <laughs> Don't smile at me like that. Skulls. Oh, that's all I needed. <laughs> Just one more skull. A sweet, sweet skull. <laughs> Okay, well, I got greedy, so I think I can do it one more time. You can. You can roll skull one more time, yes. Well, might as well at this point. <laughs> at this so. point, yes, you have the most. And there it is. There it is. <laughs> one more skull. So is this have two or at least two? It's just have two. Okay, As good. long as you have at least two. Yeah, it's not going to trigger multiple times. It's just, Sure. Yeah. So one as well, because... Okay, so you get a mana and a point. Nope, no, all other players I lose, lose a mana, a mana and I oh, gain a which, point. I actually don't have, right. so I take a skull, but it's still less than you. Right, but that's okay, because I have this, which so is going to happen. So I'm glad you, you triggered the extra one. Phew. Yes, but I will have this later. Yeah, you get another mana. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, uh, unfortunately, so what are you I did doing with not all that stuff you saved? have... Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, I don't have this. Well, wait now. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm sure you held on, to, held on to all of that for a reason. I did, and now I completely forgot what I was going to do. Oh... Might as well take the mana first, because you know that you're, you're yes, taking Yes, that's that. for sure. So let's yep. do that. My brain had drifted because I was thinking of something else I wanted to do. And I didn't get the die roll that I needed, which is really upsetting, actually. You weren't looking for skulls? No, not you exactly. You did an amazing job, if that's what you were looking for. Didn't happen, and I'm really upset about it. So let me just see how much I have here. One, two, three, four, five, which means I could... That's kind of good, but it's immediate. Or I could do that, which I don't have. And I could do that, which is dependent on that, which I don't really like. Hmm. Oh, my gosh. I need a minute. I'm having a moment. <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to take this card. Okay. Meeting of the League of Villainy. So this is uh, at the end of the game, so I'm guessing it goes here? Yep. All right, and I've spent that now. So, so. that card is going to be based on her mana pool right. at the end of the game. She's going to want to get that as high as possible, yeah. and she'll get a point for each mana that she's stored. And that's my... Choice. Done. All right. It's a sad state of affairs, unfortunately. First oh, player, back to you. This oh, happens. yes, absolutely that happens. <sighs> Who has the most skulls? Yeah, that'd be Oh, me. that would be you. Okay, so minus four. Oh, that sucks. 19, 19, where are you? Uh, you were 24, so here. Oh, it's four. So yeah, I thought it was five. Yeah. yeah, okay. Okay, and because you did take the penalty, yes, you do get some mana. I think I already took it. Oh, did you already I take did. it? I did. I already took it. Okay. Yeah. All right. 
Wow, this is depressing. So we get rid of that acolyte, yep. and we've got two rounds left. So, oh, well. Yes. Yep, I, I, I've gone this far. So we've got well. acolytes Chopper and Pip. Another duo. Yeah, they're cute. Chopper and Pip, yeah. No mana penalty. Oh, wow. Which is... Oh, now that resets, comes out, resets, yeah. Out, which is great because I have no mana, so I'd have to be taking skulls right away. <laughs> uh, for this one, it's only two gems to bribe them for four points, which is a nice a nice return of two to one. And the skull penalty is going to be minus two. Well, I'm already down the hole. What does it matter? <laughs> so you get to refill first. Yes. Okay, so this is immediately gain two mana and a gem. Okay. It's not a bad idea. All right. Big money, come on. Woo! Ah, it got a little crazy. I better reroll that. Yeah, we'll reroll because it's cocked yeah. and outside. So I'll get these out of the way. That's good. Okay. Right. Thank you. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. Well, okay, we're definitely keeping those. Done. Take them, take them at the end. Okay. Just in case Maybe you get more, yeah. So you're not forgetting which. Uh, no, I wasn't yeah. going to take any more. So. <laughs> Are you? You're keeping everything. I know when to quit when I'm ahead. Okay. So, but let me just make sure I have enough for what I need. If you're not re-rolling, then go right ahead. Uh, ba da ba da ba da ba, because that would bring me to that, and then that would bring me to that. But then that's a chance that I would have to take, and I don't think that's going to happen. <sighs> yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, I just don't want to roll that. Although, if I take a skull, it's not the end of the world. Stop smiling! <laughs> oh, not ideal, but I... I mm. I gotta think about this. I gotta okay. think about it. Sure. <sighs> so much pressure. It is pressure because I know what I want to do, and I just don't have the resources to do it. That's the problem. Well, you could, and that's where, like I said, the the game sort of has an ebb and flow. Where if you don't have the resources, you could spend a turn just banking resources so that you have a lot to spend on your next one. Hmm. Okay. We only have one more round after this. Mm -hmm. So you could bank for one big last round. Which is an idea. Okay, so I think I shall... I feel like that's such a waste. Then I would really have to roll this. So I think I have one more roll. You've got two, two more, more rolls, actually. Yep. Yeah. So, because I think I will bank, but I need to... I mean, it's like great. I'm getting good things, but it's not what I want. Because of the challenge card you have, where you get points for mana, it's not bad to have your mana topped up. True, but I was aiming for something else, and I don't think it's gonna happen. So you, you got know one what? more roll. Yeah, let's not tempt fate. No. So, <laughs> yeah, no. I see what you're trying to do. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll take the two, and then I have I no will idea what you're talking about. <laughs> right. <laughs> we'll take the one here. Okay. Um, and then it's another one, two, yep. and that's just going to bring me up to one. Yep. That is it. Okay. So over to me. So first thing is, because the tableau is full, I can remove a card if I wish to bring in another one. Meh. I think I'm good with that. Yeah, there's a lot of good stuff on the board. <laughs> All right. Let's see what I can do with it. Wow, you no didn't roll any skulls. skulls either. What is huh. going on? Interesting. Okay. So I've got uh, mana. I've got a wild. I've got a couple gems, which is nice. Hmm. So many options. There uh, are. Uh, uh. Okay, I'm going to keep those. I am going to keep those. You know what? I'm going to just yep. keep that roll. 
You're banking? I don't want to risk. I'm not banking. That's interesting. Wait. Wait. <laughs> Wait. Oh, boy. I was thinking tome for this card. It's not. No, I know, and that's what I did. <laughs> okay, then you know what? Uh, but I don't want to roll skull. <laughs> that's exactly what and I... That's the gamble. Yep. Okay. What snack is sponsoring the feed tonight? <laughs> Andy's making us hungry. Every time I come here. Maybe, yeah, you can talk about these. They're your favorite. Yeah, those are... Uh, <laughs> those are uh, praline, uh, praline pecans, which are... <laughs> Are slightly salty, slightly sweet, and oh, so not so slightly addictive. <laughs> it's uh, yeah, they're I'm not even good. hungry, and he puts them here knowing full well I'm gonna <laughs> eat it. Because if you do, then I don't have to worry about them. <laughs> and I feel like I'm probably like <clears throat> crunching it in the microphone. Okay, apologies. I'm rerolling. <laughs> I'm rerolling everything. Let's see what happens. Oh my goodness! You still got oh, two gems out of the deal. I did one skull. Oh wait, those are the two gems you had before. <laughs> That's true, yes. Yeah. Yeah, mm. that was not a good roll. No. <laughs> I've got one more re-roll. Okay, I'll just keep those. I don't know anymore. <laughs> what am I doing this here? This is like the weirdest game we've played, I think. Oh, uh, I'm one skull ahead of you, but I can mitigate that. He is good at that, making me eat, and I don't really want to. <laughs> <laughs> to make me tired. <laughs> so I'll play even worse than I normally do. <laughs> I don't know. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. I'm ahead in skulls right now. Yes. But I can get rid of a skull doing this. True. Hmm. Mm hmm. Before we go any further, <laughs> did you actually trick did you bribe the acolyte? Oh, my apologies. Uh, my apologies. I did not actually. No. So if you want to do that, you can yes. Go ahead. So one, two, and I'll take four points. Yep. Because I certainly need them. What's this yep. here? Kay. Plugging snacks. His gameplay is questionable, though. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, that's what he always says. <laughs> Those that can't do teach, right? <laughs> right. Lies. <laughs> uh, okay. I could still win this, right? Let's see what happens. No! How okay. does he not have skulls? What is <laughs> what is going on? Okay, so I don't have enough to purchase. That's three tome. Mm -hmm. But I can store those since I'm not purchasing. So first off, four mana. See, you were storing and you even know it. Two gems. <clears throat> and then I will store... Oh, boy. I will store... Well, one of them's definitely a tome. It's mm -hmm. just a matter of what do I do with that one. Hmm. I'm going to make it another tome. Interesting. And then I'm going to spend one mana to lose a skull and gain a gem, mm -hmm. which puts us even for the penalty, so I'm happy with that. Yep. And then I'll spend two gems... To bribe the acolyte, getting four points. And done. Okay. Kay. Well, here you are. Uh, thank you. <laughs> so we get rid of the acolyte, and we're on to our last one. It's a short one, guys, today. So the last acolyte is Acolyte Bowie. It's like David Bowie? Yes. 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 Modern Bowie. So first off, we've got a one-mana penalty. Oop, ba doop and he wants a huge bribe. To bribe Acolyte Bowie, it's going to take six gems, but you'll get nine points for it. But it is Bowie, so it's spectacular. And then there's a two-point penalty for whoever has the most skulls. That is a lot of gems. <laughs> it is a lot of gems. not looking good for it me. It is definitely a lot of gems. <laughs> okay. And because we are tied with the skulls at the end of the last round, nobody takes the penalty. Which is good, because I can't afford it. I want to get rid of anything there. I don't think so. I'm just going to go with it. All right, here we go. Okay, that's a good roll. One skull. I'll take the wild. Huh. <laughs> I'll take... This is going to be a gamble. I'll take the two arcane... 
and I'm going to roll everything else. Interesting. Let's see what happens. That's a lot of tome. Which you could use. That is a lot of tome. Mm. There's only the one tome card out there. There's only the one spell. Yeah. So if I took one, two, three, four, and three. Okay. And I'm going to re-roll these. Okay. Last roll. I take one skull. And so skull is done. Two mana. Mm -hmm. I'm going to spend... Those three arcane. Yep, to take the Inferno at the Fountain. Challenge card, I immediately gain two mana mm -hmm. and a gem. Nice. So that's those spent. And then I'll spend that along with three other tome. That's a total of four to get Focused Study, which is a sorcery spell. I can spend two gems to gain four points, which I might as well do because yeah. I am not going to get to six that's gems this insanity. round. It's the last round. So I figured that's a way I can squeak out a few more points. Mm -hmm. So I will do that. I will spend two gems to gain four points. Nice. So it's going to be 47. And I will also, gems won't do me any good at this point. So I don't need to do this card, which gains gems plus a skull. What I want to do is get under the skull threshold that might Mandy might hit. So I'm going to spend one mana to lose a skull, right. gain a gem. But it's more about losing that skull. That's me. Over to you. All right. Well, let's uh, refill with one of these. <laughs> That's a 10-pointer. Yeah. What do we have here? But I need six. Hammer Toads Strike Back. It's a challenge card. Yep. It takes six arcane, although you've stored some, so yep. you're already at two. Uh, immediately discard a card, so she Which would have to get rid of a card, but it's worth ten points. Exactly. So that's, that's pretty big. The end of the game, gain seven victory points if you have gem, gem plus and, oh, I guess it's one plus gem, mm -hmm. and three plus mana. Yep. Okay. Well, that's interesting. And not achievable, but we will try. Yeah, there's no way you could get. Well, uh, no, there's no way no. you could get both. No, but we'll see what I can get. But you could hit one. Sure. You could hit one easily. Sure, and that's exactly all I'm looking for. Yep. Wow! <laughs> How does that even? Four happen? skulls. <laughs> one, two, three, four. It's like. Well, I think you've got the most. Wow, that is garbage. Garbage. You don't have to re-roll. I'm re-rolling oh, every single one of those. <laughs> I don't even care if it gets called at this point and now. At, at this point, exactly. Yeah. There is no gamble. Unbelievable. Are you kidding me? Now, one thing I, I will point out. Yep. Yeah, you're not going to need this. No, I'm going to reroll it. Because you're one short, which yeah. at the end of the game, she gets points for each mana she has. However, don't forget your ability. Yep. You will be taking this penalty. Exactly. Which is so going to give gain you one it anyway. And that's going to cap you out. Oh, yeah. I got two more rerolls here. Okay, now we're talking. That will put me at just what I need. Yep. This is not going to happen. So do I even need to take it? But there's no point in anything else. Yeah. Because there's nothing else I can do with it. True. So. Yes. I'm assuming I have to acquire a card before I can use it. Use. No. You, the order is Doesn't entirely matter. up to you. So, so trigger that. I will do this. Yep. Okay. And. Yeah. So I lose a mana. Yep. You and gain a I point. gain a point. Because I'm yeah, order of operations for a lot of these cards is important. very important. Yeah. So I'm going to lose the two there. I'm going to spend all of these mm -hmm. to get this card. Yeah, you are. <laughs> I need it. That's that's big points. <laughs> which means this card has gone bye bye. That is big points. Which I'm okay with. Okay. And I will keep this, and I have nowhere to put that, and I can't use it anyway because I spent it. Correct. And. This is going to happen. <laughs> yeah, so you're going to take so the penalty. I can't do that, but I'm going to take the penalty. So a two-point penalty, yep. but then you get a mana for it. Right, which will fill me right to the top. Because of special ability. Yep. 
Okay, good. I still didn't win, but at least I brought uh, it back. Well, we'll see. You, Let's see. You've Adam, got some high point cards there. Adam West, the creator of the game, is aware and very pleased you guys are streaming the game tonight. Just saw his comment in Kickstarter. Oh, oh that's excellent. so great. Thanks, and thanks for sharing that. Yep. Craig, that's awesome. Yay! Okay. So now we look at final scoring. So I know you're behind right now, but you've got some big points there. I'm hoping it's enough. Right? I don't think so. I know at the very least you've got 18 points sitting there. Sure. But Plus at least a card that I, I can't remember what it is, but you've got some good points. But at points. least I won't be, you know, devastatingly bad. So let's let's go to yours first. Oh, no. Let's do no? yours first. Okay. You want to set the bar first and then see if you can jump it? All right. I'll do mine first. <laughs> <laughs> womp, womp. Okay. So... Let's start with this one. So this is a 10-pointer. Yeah, it is. So that's going to take me to 33. Yep. And then this is 7, so that's going to take me to 40. Nice. This one is the question marky one, so yep. it's going to give me one for every one mana. One for every mana. So, so a total of 8 points. 8 points. Yep. So 48. So I didn't win, but I mean, I did do a nice catch-up. Yep. All right, so then basically all the cards do have the point values listed on them. Some of them are variable, like the card that Mandy had. I don't think I have any variables. No, all it's right, just straight all up right. add them Let's up. Let's just so see what you want. Mike. I'll add them up. <laughs> 5, 10, 15, 16 points. 16! We'll put me at uh, 16, 50, 63. Okay, well, that's not so horrible. 50, 63. I there took you go. so many hits this game. <laughs> so many hits. That's Wizards of the Wild. All right. Yeah. So we'll switch over. Swing back over. Mm -hmm. Wow. I hadn't been destroyed in some time, but there you go. You got <laughs> to see that. And the first time I played this, it was so much closer-ish. <laughs> no, I, uh, I, I like this. It's light. It's, uh, you know, we've, we've been playing for an hour. Yeah, we But that's chatting. with a lot of chatting and, and yeah. discussing the rules. So you can easily play this in 45 minutes or under. Especially once you get to know what the cards are. The first few games, you'll be trying to figure out what they all do. But once you get to know the cards, it's a, it's a fairly quick game. So, yeah. But there's strategy. It's a light game, but it does have strategy in terms of which cards you're buying and trying to get some good combinations going. So Yeah, so yeah. we have here uh, Flying Purple Meeple Eater. Uh, super cute game. Really enjoy the quick gameplay, too. Yeah, yeah I mean, exactly. we do tend to play a lot of heavy games, but it's nice to just throw in something like this every once in a while. That's still strategic, mm -hmm. but it's, you know, it's quick. Yep. So, and definitely I noticed that uh, order of operations is really important here. So that's why it yes. takes some time. I'm like, let me think here what I want to do first, because I could have had a situation where I wasn't able, I just tossed that card before I used it, and I could have, you know, lost one or two points. That I, I mean, it doesn't make a difference now, but if it's in the end, you know, that could make a difference in you winning. So Now, one thing I will say is, in this game, both of us were leaning quite heavy on challenge cards. And that's that's right. partly because of what I was doing was I was trying to keep the challenge cards going in the display. Anytime I had a chance, I'd discard a spell card and bring in a challenge card. The main reason behind that is my ability was to let me spend mana to gain right. arcane, which you need to use to spend uh, to get those, those challenge cards. Some games you end up leaning more towards the spell cards which are the cards that would stay in play face up and that's where you yeah. start to get a lot of order of operations being important because sometimes you need to trigger a card to get the mana to then spend the mana to trigger another card to get you know some some tomes to then right. use that tome to buy a card so sometimes that can get even more complex with the spell cards but we were focusing more on on challenge cards because yeah. that's what I was throwing in. The and I needed them too because I knew for me, like I was losing too many points. I said, I just need to get like a lot of end game stuff or yep. immediate to get me in the game. Yep. So we have a question here and I'm going to throw this to you because okay. I know you're going to be able to answer this one. Oh, um, so. Flying Purple Meeple Eater, would yep. you consider traveling with this game? Uh, not only would I consider it, I've already done it. Uh, I've taken this to Mexico and to uh, Dominican Republic. Um, I don't take the fancy box with me <laughs> or, or the or the fancy first player marker. I obviously want to preserve those. But if you boil it down, it is a few decks of cards and some player mats, um, which travels quite easily. The, the original box is that size. And I don't even think I traveled with this box. So I that's might like have for just thrown them size into a bag. This yeah. is a regular glass. Or, or so we're head for there you size, go. Yeah. Uh, so it actually travels quite well. Uh, you could even just throw them all into a Ziploc, bo uh, Ziploc bag and have them in a, a very small uh, a small case. So And usually you have these yeah. sleeved, right? But for the Yeah, I would normally have these sleeved. Um, yeah. 
for camera purposes, we needed to take the sleeves off, but I would normally have it sleeved. So I've, I've played this at uh, some, uh, played it at the bar beachside in the <laughs> Dominican Republic. So yeah, it travels quite well. Yeah. Yeah. So overall, like for me, this is a newer game and I really enjoyed it. Like, honestly, this is probably one that I would have gone on Kickstarter. I'm like, yeah, okay. You know, it looks fine. Another dice game. Yeah. You know, I mean, I, I we review a lot of games, mm -hmm. but I was like, oh, pleasantly surprised. I mean, I like that kind of magic aspect to it. Mm -hmm. And um, I mean, to be fair. The wand doesn't <laughs> hurt, right? <laughs> the wand kind of, you know, won now, me over. The, the retail version would not come with this. This sure. was the special collector's right. edition, but yeah. But, I, you know, there are elements that I like, and I like the cards. I mean, it takes a bit of time to read and learn the names because I get confusing them. But I like the idea. It's simple, streamlined, but there are decisions. And you get to choose how you want to direct your character and how mm -hmm. you want to direct your gameplay. So that, to me, I thought was really important. So yep. will I ever win this game? Probably not, but I'm enjoying losing. <laughs> now, because we didn't use a lot of the spells, one more thing I'll mention is yeah. uh, there are three different types of spells because we weren't focusing on them you didn't really get to see the interaction with them right. but you've got sorcery spells you've got enchantment spells and you've got sorcery enchantment and shadow spells right yeah uh, and that's the main reason i wanted to bring it up some of those can be a lot of fun the the shadow spells tend to gear more towards you having to take skulls to start manipulating different things uh but there are cards that will, will start to benefit you if you have the most skulls because you're playing for the dark side. Uh, <laughs> if you start you know, leaning more towards enchantment, a lot of the enchantment cards will play well together right. and they'll even be cards that will award you points at the end of the game for however many enchantments or however many uh, sorcery cards that you have as well. So that's another aspect to it that we didn't really get to touch on just because we weren't leaning towards spells this game. Yeah. Yeah. So I'd be curious to see how the expansion changes or enriches the game even. Mm -hmm. um, but this, I mean, has a lot of replayability. So, I mean, yep. quite some time before we have to throw that in. Yeah. Yeah. So there overall, I, I enjoyed it. Yeah. It is fun. <laughs> and like I said, good to travel with. Exactly. So if anybody has any more questions, please feel free to contact us. You can either reach me at 2, the number 2, die 4 games at gmail.com. Or you can contact... I'm at pollum21 at gmail.com. And just a quick rundown of our social media. So actually, we do this every Monday night, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can find me on social media on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, the Board Gaming Pinup Girl, Board Gamer Pinup Girl on Twitter, here on Twitch. I'm also a Dice Tower contributor. And we have the YouTube channel under To Die For a Game. And I can be found on Instagram as Pollum, Twitter as Pollum21. Uh, here every Monday night, 8 o'clock. <laughs> and I will also be uploading this tomorrow to the YouTube channel, so you can also leave comments there, or if there's anything specific you want to see played, let us know. Absolutely. So this is my vacation look. Go back to work tomorrow. It was Victoria Day here yep, in Canada. Yep, nice long weekend. Yes, so I'll be back to my usual pin-up look next and week. Do we tease uh, next week's? Yes. You want to go ahead with that one? Next week is One Deck Dungeon. We're going to be playing uh, the co-op version of One Deck Dungeon. Yeah, so this is another one that's new for me. It was recently on Kickstarter, so I'm uh, lots of women and girls that look like me. Yes. <laughs> that makes me happy. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll be playing that next Monday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Yes. All right. I think right. you've heard enough of our social media stuff. So, yep. <laughs> so thanks so much for joining us, and we'll see you guys Thank next you. week. Bye. Bye.